So we are all gathering here at this time to practice meditation. So sitting in a comfortable position. Bringing your mind and heart to the moment here and now. And relax. Relax the body and the mind, leaving all your responsibilities aside and all the duties. And just be here and now. Spend a few moments on the breath just to relax the entire body. <clears throat> So settling down, grounding yourself. Developing the awareness of things as they appear. The Buddha advised saying that there are people entering in and as a result of that a suffering and wandering in the samsara again and again. And meanwhile, there are people who do not enter and engage and attain the path and fruition until the Nibbana. And the here, a person who enters means whenever we see the objects and the form. We have uh, feelings, different types of uh, sensations. And we perceive those sensations into this or that from the memories that we have. And due to the kilesis, greed, hatred and delusion, we like to define those sensation into one or another. And in each activities, the consciousness will stand. Consciousness stands on the form and will be arises along with the form and whoever engages in that form and enters into the conversation or into the discussions then that will become more visible, empirical. That's become dominant in the consciousness. 
we will be developing more. That's why we see that object. We remember that object for a longer period of the time. Furthermore, we will have an attachment to it due to the desire, the passion. And this passion longs the journey in the samsara. Similarly, feelings. And whatever feelings arises as you're sitting here, trying to pay attention to the abdomen or the breathing in and out or the primary object, whatever sensations arises, those sensations, whether the pleasant sensation or unpleasant sensations, is known as the sensation or the Vedana. And this Vedana again arises due to the consciousness comes and conditions it to arise. And on the basis of that Vedana, the consciousness stands. And this consciousness, the mind, the more engaged in this Vedana, the sensations, it will develop more, becomes the dominant. That's why we experience, suppose we have an unpleasant sensation or a pain or unpleasant emotions are there. Our mind constantly thinking about it and that becomes the dominant. And because of that dominant domination and our attachment and clinging onto it, it longs the samsara. But again, this consciousness arises on the basis of the way the now, the sensation. Sanya, the perception, also similar. On the basis of a sanya, consciousness arises, the mind arises. And when we grasp, hold on to it, And that develops more. It confirms our thoughts and our perceptions. And we hold on to that view that what we have seen, what we have experienced is the correct and the right. Rest of others are not. So we will have that mind developed and having a clinging and that also distorts our view. And that distorted view, we again along in the samsara. Similarly, samkhara, vinyan, or the consciousness or the mind arises on the base of the samkharas. So that practice of a meditation is to see that each mind that we are observing is always conditioned by these four elements, four aggregates. The Rupa, Vedana, Sanya and Sankaras. But as we practice, we see that Rupa is not any concern of us. It is the four element conditioned arises and it will vanish. Our concern is a three mental factors that conditions the mind. As we sit and comfortably practicing 
observing the primary object rising, falling, in and breathe out. Mind counts, settles. Those moments, any sensations that is coming, any sensation that arises, always comes through the body. We will disregard the body. We will be watching, observing, knowing and aware of these sensations. As our meditation deepens, the entire body merge with the environment. We feel nothing. Although this massive chunk of a meat or the molecule still sitting here, we feel nothing because it merges into the element, the four elements. So that sometimes you may experience of a hollowness, emptiness, the lost of your hands or legs, body like that. So that's why it's not the concern. But however, we will have some form of a sensations. The mind, if we attach to the sensations and cling on to it, liking, disliking, pleasure, displeasure, that means we are entering in to this cycle of a birth and a death. So entering in. Similar to the sanya and samkaras. A person who engages and enters into the activities with these three mental factors, mind will continue wandering in the samsara. Whereas a good meditator, a good wise man will see these three mental factors are conditioning to arise this mind. And as these conditions fades, dissolves, this passion, then this person will not enter and engage with it. And with that, mind also dissolves. And that's how one will overcome or abandon the five aggregates, attaining the final liberation. That person will not have any passion towards the five aggregates, but seeing things truly as they are. So every practice that we are practicing, we need to reflect on it and seeing in these ways that every things that we are observing always, there are these five aggregate merged, emerges and need to understand it clearly. And not just that during the formal sitting meditation time, we are aware of these aggregates but try to learn in other unofficial daily routine activities. Whatever you're doing, learn to be mindful. Learn to be aware. Learn to notice. Learn to understand. Learn to see and knowing as they are. It is condition that arises and condition vanishes. Understanding our engagement with these activities and checking is it is any is there any activities that you are performing due to the influence of the great hatred and delusion? Checking.
as you are, you are sitting here, whatever sensations arises, ability to notice them in these five factors, seeing that how mind is conditioning and freeing yourself. So with this in mind, sitting comfortably and relaxed, observing the entire body sitting and settling down, grounding yourself, and having an alert and awake mind to observe things as they truly are, how it is conditioning arises and how are we engaging with it. So continue practicing until you hear the gong.